Hey guys, and welcome back to Rames Games. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be playing Terraria for real, but we're going to be doing a challenge. So, we already have characters here. I'm going to, I'm going to favorite this. Um, we're going to ignore those because we will be creating a brand new character. Uh, I wish the hair selection was easier. You know, why don't they have a hair selection or... Can I just say that this game should be a lot more like the console in terms of like its crafting menus and its character creation? But anyways, I'm going to be playing this at 1920 by 1080 so it's going to be fairly large. I don't know, is that the starting here? Oh, we got to do something weird. It's YouTube, so... uh. Uh, that color. Then we gotta do something weird. Uh, that color, because it literally doesn't matter. Skin. Sure. <laughs> I do like the look of the trench coat, though. I'll give it that. So we're going to be doing a, hopefully, bright-ish Rames Games blue undercoat, a hopefully bright-ish Rames Games style overcoat. You know what? Let's do black. Sure. I'll make the undershirt the, the more green. Whew, the greens and the bright colors are hurting my eyes. That's always great, right? But anyways, what is this challenge you guys want to hear about? The challenge is that we are going to be doing a mainly only fishing challenge series video of things. Stop handshake. Cool. We're going to be doing it in softcore because I'm a little bitch. Kind of a male character, not that it really matters either way, it's just... I find his noises that he makes when he gets hit and damaged and all that just a little bit less infuriating. Still annoying. You know what? I think that's good. Create. We're going to call this, uh, this guy... Um... Bob. His name is Bob. There you go. Give me just one moment here. Okay guys, I'm back. I moved the microphone to a little bit more personal space obstructing area. So Bob here, he's going to be favorite. I'm going to unfavorite these modded guys because their characters don't actually matter anymore. Um, but Stuff McGee, you guys saw that. Anyways, Bob. We're going to be doing a new world. It's going to be a small world and it's going to be on normal because, again, I'm a little bitch. We're going to call this... Bob's fishing advent Ugh. yep I can't fit the E so we're gonna call it Bob's fishing adventure uh, I'm not particularly happy about this just because I am an old player so I personally prefer the Corruption way over the crimson, but right now I can tell that it's going to be crimson. So this should be a little bit more Difficult I don't know do I want to keep this world Uh, Let's just see what happens if I generate this one Um, Bob's fishing. Adventure 2. Okay, this one is Corruption, so we're going to go ahead and go with this one. The reason I like Corruption is just because I really actually prefer fighting Eater Worlds. I think it's a fun classic boss versus, what, the Brain of Cthulhu? 
Is that 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 boss that's there? I don't know. It's it's just a personal preference, and you know, technically the corruption is easier, but I don't really care about that. So I'm gonna favorite this one, and we're gonna be playing. Ooh, I should probably favorite Anus Land too. But yeah, this world, um, barring like wooden tools and wooden armor, is going to be strictly based around fishing. So we're going to fish for all of our ores. We're not going to keep anything we pick up, I hope not. I gotta wait for this douchebag to get close to me because I don't want to move quite yet. I want to mark the center of the world with um, a marker. Oh, you dick. Hold on. You come back here, you douche. God, I hate the short sword. Um, reasons I'm getting lots of wood, number one, is NPC housing. Number two is to switch out my stupid copper short sword with a wooden broadsword because, oh my god. So, things that I find acceptable in terms of, like, armor creation, I will be arming the corruption, trying to get the... Uh, ancient Shadow Armor, that's the helm, the chest, and the boots, the Ancient Shadow Armor is the equivalent of the current Shadow Armor that you can make uh, via resources from fighting the bosses. However, it's just the old texture, as far as I believe, everything else is the exact same. So we're going to need to get enough money, 50 silver and an adequate house, for both of our NPCs in order to get the merchant in. And the merchant's gonna be vital because he'll have the net which allows me to catch bait and all that fun crap. And I don't know if you know this but bait is pretty essential when it comes to um, fishing of any kind so so yeah uh, at some point I will be doing cuts I'll be skipping out quite a bit of the fishing even though this is primarily a fishing let's play. But for now, let's just enjoy uh, the game for what it is. I'm also going to try to keep it up at 60 FPS. If you didn't know, I started out technically on YouTube making a Terraria video using Fraps and Windows Movie Maker. It was terrible and it's still online. If you can find it, good for you. If not, uh, you're not really missing anything. It was audioless, as far as I know. What I really like about New Worlds too is you get these tall trees, trees that will not spawn at this height any other way past your initial spawn. Ooh. Gotta remember to take off the control mode. I don't know what the technical word for it is, but it's when I tap control. It gives you this mobile-like control method. I don't like how that piece of dirt was looking at me anyways. So I guess for now, let's go ahead and, first of all, all the torches we can get. Stop. Can, can you remember how to play the game for like two seconds? So the reason I marked the center of the world is because I'll need to know that so when I spawn in, blocks don't like immediately break. So if I go to save and exit single player Bob. Bob's Fishing Adventure 2. I'll technically spawn right here, apparently. So let's do that one more time. And there you go. We do technically spawn here. That's not what I wanted. So the only reason I need to know that is so I can make sure that I spawn in my house. That's all. Um, frames. Come on, pretend for like two seconds that you've played this game before. Oh, my eyeball is itching. Oh, jeez. Hold on one sec. Oh, my God. Like, my eyeball is so itchy right now. And I just massively punched the mic. 
Please, please stop. Sorry about punching the mic. Uh, rip headphone users. I'm probably going to forget that I did that by the time I edit this video. So... Sucks for you. Right now, I admit that we are pretty much just home building. Guide. Guide, come on, move. Guide, move! Alright, I'm just going to assume that was proper. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's add one more. So, uh, what I just did there is I'm going to... Assume this to be my personal starting room. And the center of that's here. So you probably saw it in the other video kind of thing that I did. That I have a building style. It's probably super classic. It's got to be nothing original, I'm sure. I'd be really surprised to find out that anything I do in this game is at all original. I used to watch Hero quite a bit. Now we just need to know if this works for housing. So if I save and exit single player Bob, I know it's really annoying. But there we go. So even if I don't set a bed, I actually do spawn inside of my house, which is useful when you're doing a, a farm like a, 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 a only build and you don't want to break blocks. So let's just go ahead and fill in the floor now. But rains, when are we going to get to the fishing? Well, when I have a house, that will work for NPCs, which, stop it, uh, which I will be slowly gaining the money from all these slimes as well as building the housing in the upstairs. Hopefully all this works out smooth. Sometimes the, the crafting menus slow down a lot when you're recording, or at least for me, I have this on an SSD. Just to make it go a little bit faster? But I mean, who knows? Probably a terrible idea to have this game on a solid state drive. And you know what I say to that? I say rip all the bait that I wanted to use. Game. Alright. Time out. Time out. Most annoying thing about this challenge is going to be this this first part right here. No joke. Yeah, the crafting menu slows down way a lot. Agile. Agile. Damaged. Wooden. Ruthless. Uh, minus knockback. Mm. That's seven melee. That's eight. We already have an agile. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Kind of hoping to get the best wooden sword that I could get, but we're not going to waste any more wood on that. So as far as I'm concerned, we can just trash that because we don't necessarily need that anymore. Time to spam out a bunch of platforms. I don't know where I got that potion from. I guess it probably happened because slimes like to drop potions. Like, I know that. I'm just saying that that's my best guess as to where it happened. So we're starting the second story. Because we're going to be doing a lot of fighting at nighttime. Uh, when the zombies come out to play. That way we can hopefully earn all of the money that we're going to need. Now, someone's probably going crazy right now saying this, this isn't symmetrical. And I would be totally inclined to believe you. Yep. 
goes. Guys, I'm an idiot. Which means the center of the house needs to go out one more. So, one, two, three. I'm gonna put it up against this block. And delete all of these. Yay, not mathing correctly. And by mathing, I mean just taking a wild shot in the dark and not getting it crit. So, I mean, that's relatively unfortunate. But I want to be sure to show you guys my method for starting the game. I've never really done a Terraria challenge before, and I don't know if this is a challenge. I don't keep up with the Terraria scene, if you would call it that. But this is kind of a, a me challenge, so yeah. Just to see if I can handle playing the game for the most part by getting all of my ores, or at least like 90% of them, out of simply crates from fishing, fishing crates. Because that just sounds crazy. And I like to think that I'm slightly insane, so there you go. Easiest long-winded explanation as to what I'm doing, and if anyone's still here, then congratulations. You heard all of it. Now you can leave. I'm kidding. Come back. Baby, come back to me. I should have never set you free. That song is still in my head, so don't you talk to me about talking to me. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Let's just get these wooden walls up because it's nighttime and things are attacking us and I always make too many of these so we'll see what happened there. So we have adequate amount of light. By the way, uh, my friend actually asked me why I put the lights up so high. It's because I do. I like them out of the way. The ones in the middle can always be switched out with like proper chandeliers at some point in the game. And I only assume that chandeliers will provide light enough for like the whole room. Not entirely sure. Uh, for once I didn't make too many of these things. We're almost out of wood. Technically, I mean, we still have some, but... So this build mode recognizes what is a confined space. In this case, it will build through platforms, but through solid objects, it won't. I will do... Oh jeez, now's not the time. This thing has like no knockback and it's terrible. What am I using? Ugh. It needs the knockback. So I'm gonna make sure that the housing is set up. Save and exit single player Bob, Bob's Fishing Adventure 2. I was hoping he would move to his proper location. And we're gonna add a little bit of light to the surrounding area. Simply because YouTube is dark enough as it is without not being able to see anything. I also need to set up a campfire inside of my house just to make sure that I can heal a little bit faster in the early game. I would never do anything this weird on something with like a permanent hard mode character. I don't even play anything other than softcore. I kind of think Terraria was designed for the relaxed experience, and for people who got too good at the game, that's where everything else comes in. I do like the fact that there's a raincoat zombie here. I was kind of hoping to get his raincoat, 
but you know. So come sun up, we'll be able to go out and explore a little bit. We need to find out which side the corruption is on. We need to find the angler as fast as possible. So I actually technically need another floor to this building. Ouch. I also need as many stars as I can get. Just cause, I mean, I don't think there's any actual reason I need that. But, you know. There we go. So like I said, with the exception of like wooden armor. And I need to consider replanting things like as soon as possible. Lots of worms if only we had a fishing net. We currently only have seven silver, we're gonna need way more than that. But if I could get the fishing coat aesthetic right now, that would be really sweet. Just give me some cosmetic items like early on. No, I have a door. I think I'll need a door for anything. Well, I will because the second story is going to need a door. And we're going to need to get started on that fairly soon. So the first major obstacle that we have is this um, really ugly kind of mess that is a lake. We're going to have to sort that out soon, but let's go ahead and head back. Fight this guy off along the way. Our sword was barely good enough to deal with that, but again, for now. So some of the challenges that the whole fishing thing actually poses is the fact that there's no reliable way to get ores aside from like the crates. We've determined that enough as it is. But also, another issue with that is that uh, we need to be able to fish. So, like I said, we're going to have to go for the merchant first. We'll find silver and all that inside of chests that normally naturally spawn all over the surface. I'm out of torches, so I'll explain a, a few things. What I'm lacking is the gel to keep my torch supply up. Feels weird going from 400 health and the beginning of a hard mode to 100 health. It's difficult, but in its own ways. So try to fend off the left real quick. Those crits where we get the knockback is actually like the most important thing ever. Ouch, ouch. Got the rain hat. There you go guys, I have a really cool, really sweet yellow hat on my head now. I gotta just remember to back off. Every now and again. Zombies appear just to be aesthetic, potentially, not really changing in their stats any. I like to collect dirt early on and to fix stupid things in the world like this. So that things are nice and flat, so when you get the Hermes boots, that you have a nice surface to run on. I don't really like the whole angled block thing. It was really cool when they added it because building became a lot less blocky. You could hammer things into place and it was really useful. It's just, that's not how I play this game, you know? So, like it's never going to be a meaningful change. 
to me. Or to this Let's Play, so. Go ahead and level that out there. Gives us a little bit more surface area immediately to plant more trees. And there you have it. So while we have a chance, let me go ahead and add these platforms. This is so I can get over my house. So I don't have to walk through it all the time. And I'll probably actually just extend my house out because I'd like to flatten this off as much as possible. Let's grab that star. That's our second one. We can probably find one off to the right if we go quick enough. But I mean, that's not really a luxury we have. And I think it's like 6 to 8 a.m. in game, so. The time for collecting those has passed, sadly. I need a light because I cannot see anything. Alright, we now have the, the bridges that I like to have. Right over the water, a bunch of platforms. And there's a water chest, like, right there. It's nice and convenient. So let's go ahead and finish building this over. At least as much as we can, we will collect that chest here in a second. Right after we cut these trees down, because we're going to need to... Raise the land just enough. You're gonna put the platform in the water, but I prefer to have just a little bit over. Mm. Uh, that's not what I meant to break. Uh, that is a pinky. A really, a really early pinky. It'd be even better for us if we could trap it inside of the house. So we could get pretty much an unlimited amount of DPS on it instead of just this continuous knockback. Pinkies drop, I think, like a gold. So if we didn't have the merchant before, we are definitely going to have him now. I know this video is running on a little long, but I want to at least have some clue what I'm talking about. Give a good base for the video. Also, okay, 68 silver. That's, that's not a lot. But we now have the gold that I thought we would get. So, that's fine. I can probably do a little bit of tree cutting off camera after this one. I will finish the next layer of the house off camera as well. as kind of flatten out some of this land. But, as I did say we were going to do... Let's get that. Let's fill that back in. Let's see what's in this chest. So we have a trident, which is pretty good. The trident can probably just replace my... It's 11 melee damage, so let's go ahead and put it here. We don't need the wood on our... You know what? We... There we go. That's that's great. Uh, we also have 11 bombs, 12 lead. I'll accept that because it's in a chest. We have a bunch of potions and some shurikens. Which are going to come in handy. We also have a free water chest. So that is actually pretty dandy. Like, there could have been worse chests to find on the surface right there. And that was just really lucky that in a super small pool of water, we find the trident. Which is just your spear class weapon. It's... Like having a copper short sword on steroids that doesn't suck. But yes, with the with the finding of that chest and the discovery of the new snow biome off to our right. We're gonna call that an episode, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think of this series and the challenge. Uh, if you have any suggestions or things that you consider acceptable or not acceptable, I'll at least read them. I'm uh, probably just going to keep this challenge to my specifications, though. Like I said, I'm not taking this from a challenge list. I'm doing it because I kind of tried this earlier on my own time. 
years. Like, when I originally introduced fishing, it's where I got most of my fishing quests, actually. I just spent, like, an entire playthrough fishing. And I've never really seen, like, the super late game, so I want to see how far I can take this. But yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay positive. Have yourselves a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Terraria Fishing Challenge. Bye-bye.